All right, so today on The Griddle Guys, we are having the battle of the bologna sandwiches, or more appropriately, the fried bologna sandwiches. Did you uh, did, did your family make fried bologna sandwiches growing up? Yes. Of all the things I ate, that was probably not one of them. So I've never had one. Yeah. Never had one at all. Never had fried bologna, and I kind of don't see a point in it. But here's what I saw on YouTube. There is a restaurant in Montreal called Walensky's. They've been in business since 1932. Signature sandwich is a fried bologna sandwich. And they have celebrities going there. They have a line out the door. They've never changed their sandwich. Just imagine that you're a restaurant and that's your signature as a bologna sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's bizarre. Do they make it's their own bologna? No. So that's Walensky's. You can look it up online. Walensky's in Montreal, Canada. Since 19, 1932, they're coming up on 100 years making the same dang sandwich. And then second to that, I was talking to my brother and uh, his, his buddy Jimmy owns a bar. Yeah. The Mitt. Right? Called the Catcher's Mitt. Yeah. So Jimmy does free big, big local fan favorite. Yeah, he does <laughs> he does free food Fridays where he will pick some food and he cooks it up and he brings it into the bar on Fridays. And he puts it out and anybody who comes in gets to eat for free. So a couple of months ago, he posted on Facebook his free food Friday. One of you know it was a frippin' fried bologna sandwich. Frippin'? Yeah, well, fried bologna sandwich. Yeah. So I'm like, what is with this? So I, I asked my brother to get the recipe from Jimmy. So we've got two different fried bologna sandwiches. We have Lenski's, you know, almost 100 years, tried and true. Uh -huh. And then we have the catcher's mitt fried bologna sandwich. So let's grab the ingredients. We're gonna try them. Jeff's fasting, he's not gonna taste it, but I will taste it. Give you guys my both of them, my honest assessment, see if it's worth doing. Stick around, this should be fun. If it's good, I'll take one home for tomorrow. Fried bologna sandwich for breakfast. Not a lot of ingredients in these sandwiches. Maybe that's an advantage, maybe it's a disadvantage. On the Walensky side of the house, the traditional sandwich from what I read and saw is all beef bologna and all beef salami. I was able to get all beef bologna, I was not able to get all beef salami, so the nearest substitute I could get is called cooked salami, which is here. The traditional sandwich, no cheese. This salami, that bologna, mustard, Toasted bun, 100, almost 100 years, go figure. It's killing me to not just take slices of this and eat it. And I'm not even a bologna fan, I don't think. I don't know. I don't Listen, really... if you see bologna, you have to take a slice. And it's then, like seeing a stack of cheese. You I'm, always got to take a piece. I've never seen salami like that either. We were talking yeah. off camera, and, and I just want to try it, but mm. I guess I'll have to wait. Anyways. I should torture him on his diet and like wave it under his nose. All right, so on the catcher's mitt side of the house, slightly different sandwich. We have regular bologna, pork, chicken, beef, you know, blended bologna, like the German bologna. Hot dog bologna. Yeah, American cheese, bacon, bulky roll, mustard on this one as well. Also Just, toasted? Yes, toasted on both sides. That's it, let's go cook. I like it. All right, folks, it is starting to rain out, so I think I read somewhere, maybe Reader's Digest, that when rain lands on your food while cooking it, it makes it taste better. I don't know, could be wrong about that. But uh, in either case, we're gonna do this kind of quick. So, just gonna get started on toasting the buns. Teamwork. Teamwork. We already get some bacon cooked. And I'm gonna start laying down meat. So we're gonna do the Walensky's first. So it's supposedly five slices of salami to one slice of bologna. These slices of salami are a little thinner than what I saw, so I'm gonna probably do like seven or eight. Nate, how many rolls do you want me to do? Uh, just a two of them for now. Well, actually, I'll bring one home. Yeah. So do whichever you want to bring home. I'm gonna eat one of each, so. All right. So we got about six slices of the cooked salami to one slice of bologna. That's the Walensky. Are you having a Walensky? Uh, I'll take one of each. All right, so this is gonna be your Walensky. And now for Jimmy's, it's just bacon and, did he give me a count on? Salami, he did not tell me how much. Oh, four to five slices of bologna, so we'll do five. You and I are both meat guys, right? Yeah. So this is gonna be Jimmy's, yours. Do you want me to flip the stack of uh, bologna? Uh, so it didn't look like they flipped it, but I'm okay if you wanna flip it. I know you like to play with your meat. So this is a Jimmy, right? Yeah. So this goes on here, and then the bacon. Yeah. 
And you want to grab me some cheese? Yeah. How many slices? Just one. And then here's a Jimmy. You can do that one, and I'll pull this one off. I think I'm leaning towards the Jimmy's already. Yeah, I'm leaning towards Walensky's. Yeah? But I've tried the salami, you haven't. <laughs> it's really good. So that's it for the bees, right? Well, that was a quick cook. I like it. Yeah, that, if you were serving these to a crowd, it would definitely be quick and easy. I think that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> All right, on the left, we have the catcher's mitt. On the right, we have Walensky's. Taste test time. I personally don't think I'm gonna love either of these, but we'll for the see. record, it is what six o'clock right now, seven o'clock. Yeah, I haven't eaten since three o'clock yesterday, and this is killing me. <laughs> killing me. <laughs> <laughs> the price you pay to be a svelte, handsome individual like yeah, yourself. Yeah. All right, which one first? Uh, bias towards the cheese one, the mitt. The mitt? Yeah. All right, here we go. Look at See, here comes a bird. <laughs> so cheese, bacon, I mean, how can you go wrong with that? It's interesting. And that one was just bologna and bacon, right? Mm-hmm. The difference mainly on the Walensky is there's no bacon, but there's a ton of the, uh, the salami. Oh, the salami. Let me just pick this guy up before I step on him. And the Walensky's is five slices of salami, one slice of bologna. Right. Oh. Okay, buddy. And for the record, I think both of these need an egg on them. We'll see. For an egg. Wow. These taste much more different from each other than you would think. Yeah, you would, you would think the difference would be the bacon, it's not. So before we get to the official questions, one thing that's kind of, I'm questioning is. You talk, you talk while I take another bite. Do they taste real, thanks. Do they <laughs> taste really salty? No. No. You can see guys, uh, rain kind of got the best of us out here. So do they taste good? Surprisingly, I like them both better than I thought I would. I just, the thought of frying bologna didn't do much for me, but it actually, it kind of doesn't taste like bologna anymore. I don't know. It tastes more like a, a meal. Have you ever had Spam? Mm -hmm. Does it taste kind of like Spam? No. Oh, because that, my dad used to do. It. Slice mm -hmm. of Spam, throw in a frying pan. Which one is better? Well, for me, I got to give it to Walensky's. I do. And the reason why is, the Walensky is bringing the Italian salami. It has more of a robust flavor, whereas the bologna and the bacon, you taste them, but they're sort of balanced with the bread. Yeah. On the Walensky, you, it, it really comes to the forefront, that salami flavor. And then you get the bread in the background with the mustard, right? So it just, I'm, I like bold flavors. This one gives you a little bit more of a punch. I'm also a fan of Italian subs. Yeah. That's more in line here. But that being said, you know, as far as like on a scale of one to 10, I would say they're very close. This might be an eight and this might be a seven. So do you think either would benefit from the egg? No. No? No. I think you really? tarnish it. I think you want to taste the meat. You want to taste the bacon and the bologna or you want to taste the salami and bologna. So I think if you throw an egg on there, now you've, you're, you're, you're gonna you're dilute tarnished. that flavor. Yeah, you're gonna dilute it. Plus, almost 100 years, and they don't put eggs on it. Well, 100 years, and it was like two seconds to cook. Yeah, hey bud. What's up, man? Well, I'm impressed. It was definitely easy enough. Did you hang on? Did you hang on? Did you? Just, would you serve it to your family? Would you serve it to guests? I would serve either, I honestly would. I kinda, when I heard about Jimmy serving these at the bit, yeah. I was like, come on. So I, I gave him a hard time. He said he made 40 of them, and they were gone in like an hour. Oh, they free. Well, that's true too. That's true too. But uh, yeah, I would serve both of these. This is this is interesting. It's different. It's unique. It's super simple, and it's it is darn tasty. I'll let you know tomorrow morning. No, that's awesome. Very cool. All right, well, we got a victory here. You guys, everybody that's hung around, like, subscribe, make these. Make this these. is an easy one. Very tasty. Literally, minute, mm. two minutes, from the time that you start cooking to the time that you're done. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. He's gonna get on the gate and then in five minutes he's gonna be whistling again that he wants you to come pick him up. <laughs> That's a riot. No, no, you gotta put the leg down so it sits flat. Comes right out, huh? Oh yeah, that's why he's stomping around. He's like, open my damn gate. <laughs> that's, that's what he's doing. Is he trying fly or? Oh yeah, yeah. All right.